Here's a comment I got from Tullius Agrippa. You keep splitting infinitives. Are you really the right person to teach us English? Oh my God, did I? I feel so bad about it. I failed you. I will now have to do the honorable thing and shut down my YouTube channel. Goodbye, everybody. Stay mellow. In life, some people believe in things that don't exist. The Loch Ness Monster, a correlation between the position of the planets when we were born and our personalities. Cool looking backpacks and the English grammar rule to never split an infinitive. So what is a split infinitive? Take a verb like to go. Take an adverb like boldly. What is the argument? The to and the verb must go together. Never put a word or words between them. Never, never. Listen, everybody. You must remember to always avoid splitting an infinitive. So, you should say, they argue, to go boldly. Or boldly to go. Never to boldly go. They argue that you should say to decide quickly, not to quickly decide. To understand fully and not to fully understand. The most famous example of a split infinitive is in the opening sequence of the science fiction show Star Trek. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Now is it improved by saying to go boldly where no man has gone before? No, sounds worse. The so-called rule was invented somewhere around the turn of the 19th century. Some grammarians at the time were comparing English to Latin and they wanted English to carry the same purity as Latin. So they tried to impose the rules of Latin grammar onto English. The trouble is English isn't Latin. In Latin you can't split an infinitive because it's only one word. And before then, before that time, there was no mention of the split infinitive. Sometimes, for reason of style, you may wish to not split an infinitive. For example, I want you to go quietly, not I want you to quietly go. You may prefer the style of the former phrase, and so do I in this case, but there is no grammar rule against it. You have to go with your ear and what sounds best in each case. Here are some common split infinitives. Can you, can you make them sound better by unsplitting them? It's important to really understand this subject. It's important really to understand this subject? No, I don't think so. I'd like to warmly welcome everybody out there. I'd like to welcome warmly everybody out there. No. Sales are expected to more than double in the next six months. No idea. You try. Good luck with that. I think you'll agree that the split infinitive version sounds more natural. What about this? Users were told regularly to check their phones for updates. Or users were told to regularly check their phones for updates. Artificially trying to avoid a split infinitive can lead to confusion. In the first sentence, were the users told regularly or did they ask the user to make regular checks? We just don't know. It's ambiguous. The sentence with the split infinitive is a lot clearer. If you still have your doubts, let me quote the great Stephen Pinker on this, on this excellent book. There is not the slightest reason to interdict an adverb from the position before the main verb. And great writers in English have placed it there for centuries. There is no rule in spoken English no rule in written English, no rule in formal English of any kind 
against using the split infinitive. Fortunately, good writers have ignored this non-existent rule. Shall I just name a few of them? Well, Shakespeare, albeit only once, Jane Austen, Abraham Lincoln, the King James Bible, Samuel Pepys. It's a long list. Do you want a few examples of split infinitives from great writers? I get these from another great book, by Oliver Cam, link in the description. Jerome K. Jerome, one never has time to really think. Samuel Johnson, Milton was too busy to much miss his wife. Mark Twain, the commission's scheme to arbitrarily and permanently confine the channel. And let me finish with a quote from the great American writer, Raymond Chandler. He had sent his manuscript into the publisher and the editor overzealously corrected it. Chandler was furious and he said, When I split an infinitive, god damn it, I split it so it will remain split. Well, I just want to quickly thank you for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bing.